How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Enclave, South Africa's premier firearms education channel. I'm actually super excited about today's video. It is the first range review, eh, technically, video. Um, so yeah, one of my subscribers mentioned that they are in the Bryanston area. So I went on a little bit of a mission and checked out Tactical HQ. So I had a great time there. They are really amazing people and it is a really cool range. It does get a little bit busy first thing on a Saturday morning. Um, but yeah, we are going to get into the review. So please enjoy. And here we are heading to the range. So we are outside here. This is what you are going to see. This is the entrance. And as always, we had someone drive through the shot as we started recording. You know, that is just the way it goes. So what you will see down here is basically the like sort of alleyway you've got to go down. There is a shopping center right outside this place. I do recommend parking as close to the range as possible in their parking lot because parking is quite limited so just bear that in mind and here we have our first little look at the store they have pretty much everything you're gonna need they have things from Magpul they have things from Rooster reloading they've got Lee reloading products um, they've got a bunch of stuff so here you're gonna see the goodies that we got to play with for the day uh, we shot a couple guns those reviews will be coming shortly get a nice little view of the CR 21 there and the VM 15 destroyer and here's me playing around with a uh, cute little Desert Eagle 0.50 <laughs> and uh, beautiful gun incredibly difficult to drop the slide a lot more difficult than I ever thought but yeah, you can uh, absolutely shoot this gun at the range. That is one of the really amazing things about Tactical HQ is that they have one of the largest ranges of exotic firearms to shoot that I've seen, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, as you can see, they have a bunch of firearms on the wall. Those are obviously all for sale. Well, many of them are. There are a few of the demo firearms on the wall so over here as you can see we've got a bunch of ear pro and uh, all sorts of things little tools multi tools all that sort of thing there's a bunch of 3m ear pro actually saw a few people with these at the range uh, looks like a good little set to be honest I uh, wouldn't mind doing a review of them at some point um, over here we have our less than lethal saber pepper spray for whenever you want to bless the deserving with the hot sauce saber is not a bad way to go um, yeah the thing with South Africa though is that uh, Inyope is one hell of a drug so yeah <laughs> um, here we have a really awesome World War II machine gun. I actually can't for the life of remem me <laughs> remember what this thing is called now. Um, I knew on the day and now I'm blanking. Um, so yeah, we've got the Rooster reloading products over here. A lot of speed loaders for different magazines. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty much, I mean, they've got everything that most gun shops have. Uh, they've got a bunch of Condor holsters here, they've got Daniels holsters, they've got uh, the other brand I can't quite remember right now, but yeah, they've got a bunch of stuff. Little book safe there, I was actually looking at those, would be pretty cool to hide a couple magazines in, um, like stash that somewhere in the house. Yeah, got some Southwest holsters over there. Looking pretty cool, looking pretty cool. And then, yeah, you've got your usual AR and AK accessories. 
Magpul, unfair advantage, gotta love them, some of the good stuff. And yeah, we've got some AK grips, some AR grips, pretty cool, some magazines, some stocks, pretty cool. Got pretty much everything you're gonna need, like I say. Got a cool little poster there of the Shadow 2, really good gun. I'd still like to shoot one. Uh, you guys see there's a gap there in the hats. Uh, you will have seen in the beginning of the video, I am wearing the hat that was in that gap. <laughs> Burris Optics for the win. So yeah, we picked that up at the same time. You got quite a few caps actually. I'm probably going to grab that uh, dark camo one you see over there. I quite like it. I'm quite a fan of caps. So we'll probably grab that. Got some ladies over there. You may or may not have uh, seen my wife in that little group over there got a really nice uh, coffee bar really 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 nice I'm not gonna lie very good cappuccino 25 bucks it was it was well worth it to be honest I thoroughly enjoyed it my wife thoroughly enjoyed it so yeah we've got our Daniels holsters over here and one of the Lee reloading kits I'm a huge fan of Lee uh, personally so yeah here we have the coffee bar when it's not COVID times, you can grab a mug. Yeah, I'm sure they would have let us grab a mug anyway. And as you can see, there is a heat shield uh, pull arm on the coffee press. Pretty cool. It's uh, the heat shield from a barrel of a machine gun, basically. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Really, really awesome. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what else there is to say. These people are amazing. They are really friendly, it was really busy, and I really had a great time, I don't know what else to say. So right through there is the shooting range, it's a massive, massive shooting range, they've got a huge amount of lanes, and yeah, just a quick final overview, and we'll be getting out of there. So I hope everyone enjoyed the review, this was suggested by Anthony. Thank you so much for your suggestion. We will actually be hitting up another range in the area coming tomorrow. Hope everyone enjoyed.